What's up YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys an application from Cydia. It's called M Quick Deuce. Very, very useful guys. Check this out. Check this out. Very, very useful. Let me just hop right into it so I can show you. Let it do its thing. Alright, and basically what this is, it's a hidden application on your phone, just like SP Settings, which allows you to exit out of application, shut down your phone, power down. It's a whole bunch of cool things. Um, let me just, for instance, let's click, this is short side left, you go back to home, close first page, the power dialog, back to the first page, iPod con controller, lock device, take a screenshot of your phone, enable background, app switcher, and the mute. Alright, I have mine customly set, so when you see me sliding left and right and holding the thing down, yours is not going to be like this, but let's get right into it. The hidden bar is down here, nope, oops, not on that a little bit lower. It's a blue bar or it, as I said that mine is customized to my likabilities. Yours is probably going to be yellow as it starts off. That's the default. But I have it set. Let's just hop into what I have it set. Slide to the right and my application switcher comes up. What this is is actually very very useful. You remember, let's say you open up Cydia. Let it do its thing. Say you're done searching with it. You hit the home button. Then you pop open another application let that do its thing and you're figuring why is your phone going a little bit slower than it's supposed to be well slide your finger over here and you see that your Cydia I mean your Safari is still open to get rid of them off of the off of the apps app page just slide it over to the left and you'll get rid of it you can even do it on the page that you're on you can't do it on the phone because that's just how it is um, another thing down here they have like a um, that's kind of like your dock, but it's customized set. So you could have your original dock. See how my original dock, my phone, iPod, Cydia, Safari. And then if I slide to the right, it's like a second dock. It's actually very cool. I have it set basically the same stuff. But I'll, I'll get to the reason why I have it set like that right now. Um, I have it holding my finger here for three seconds, letting it go. It locks my phone. And as I told you, why I had those set to the bottom as my second dock is because when you turn on your phone, they're right there. That is amazing. You don't have to unlock your phone, enter your passcode or anything to get into them. They're right there as soon as you press your home button to get to getting into the lock screen. I really like that. You could check your mail, email, SMS, text messaging. See if you have any applications that are available in um, the App Store that you need to get downloaded. It tells you it's gonna it's gonna be a battery saver, guys. That will be a very good battery saver instead of unlocking your phone and checking. Unlocking your phone and checking. Hmm, I have no messages. Okay, let me lock my phone up again. Lock it up. Two seconds later, I constantly check my phone for text messaging, guys. So I don't know about you, but that will save me a good amount of battery. Um. Um, I have slide to the left and it takes me back to my home screen first page you could customize it to whatever you want guys I have it I have it I like it right now one major flaw in this I don't know if it's mine or if it's everybody's but when when I slide down to where my SP settings used to be it doesn't come up anymore because I'm assuming that in M quick deuce they have a toggle for up and down switch see right there short slide up and down I have it set to do nothing I don't know there's no have it set to bring out your SP settings I'm hoping that they fix this I really do use my SP settings a lot power down respring I my volume my brightness I do everything off of SP settings so I'm really hoping that they fix this other than that this application off of Cydia is very very useful after they fix that, I will recommend it to everybody. Right now, I say give it a little bit of time, maybe wait. I emailed the guy, hopefully that there is a way to fix it. Um, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I find out. But as I said, very, very cool application. It's $6 in the Cydia store, or $5.99 or $6.99, one of those two. I don't honestly don't know because I got it for free. Um, I'll show you guys actually right. Actually, I wouldn't show you this one. I have a link in the description of how to get it. So check right over there. 
click more info and it'll teach you guys how to get it for free. But basically it's in here, the Cydia. Just pop it open and let it do its thing. Um, but I'm going to close it out just because I don't want it up. This, this, hap this is amazing. I really do like it. After they fix the XP SP settings, I'm gonna have it all. I'm gonna have it on right now. I'm gonna disable it because I do use my SP settings more than anything on this phone. But after, hopefully they do do it. I will be using this. All right, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you guys need any help, please send me a comment, email. Do do the thing. You guys know what to do. It's your boy, Big Boy Bob One One One, signing out. I'm sorry this video took a little bit of time, but this is a very cool application. I wanted to express it how cool it was. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe again. I'm really trying to get up there. Product reviews are coming up soon. Case reviews. Applications. I have it all. Peace, YouTube.